Yeah, they're not even afraid to say what they really mean out loud anymore. Look at this. Look, look at this. She actually said this at the rally, Trump's rally. A victory for white life. This is disgusting. You know, you people on the right are are disgusting. Really, truly disgusting. I came. This is just yeah. This is the end game right here. They know that they're becoming the minority in this country, and they know the only way to get back to being the back to having all the power they they want is this right here. I am a white man, but this absolutely disgusts me. They're not even pretending anymore at this point. And decided, Sam, is if only the white women said and decided no more sex, no more babies, Congress would lose their shit. Because I promise you, this is not an issue of abortion. This is not an issue of women's rights necessarily. It's an issue of the birth dearth. They don't want to have non-white babies running the Senate and the Congress. Their party's dying out, and they know it. So if they could force the white women to have all of their babies and let all the indigenous, black, marginalized women fall through the fucking cracks from a lack of health care or safety or even human fucking rights, they'll let them fall through the cracks because it means no more diversity, no more problems. Because the white babies fall right in line and do what we need them to do. Because they're fucking racist. All I'm saying is all the white women... You ain't gotta have no babies. You ain't gotta have no sex. They can't do anything to anyone without the white uteruses they so devoutly want to inhabit. Do not get me wrong. This affects every woman and every person in this country. But it is a specific attack on marginalized women. The women who will fall through the cracks because of this. They're going after Lawrence and Griswold and Overspell. They're going after interracial marriage, the contraception, you know, same-sex marriage, same-sex sex. And it's just the beginning of it. I would like to say it's just the beginning of it, rather, but we're kind of in the middle of it. This is not just an abortion issue. It is a race issue. Isaiah 24, verse 8, the mirth of Tabor ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the heart ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song, strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down, every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Barak of thy hour. Barak of thy hour shah. Barak of thy hour. Barak of thy hour shah. Barak of thy hour. Barak of thy hour shah. Barak of thy hour. Barak of thy hour shah. I'd like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth. Sally elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the men sent during this time to wake us up. <laughs> as you see what it says Supreme Court decision fallout, okay? And amidst the all this madness going on, plant shutting down, money running out, Chinese bank runs, um, food scarcity. Okay, now you got locusts uh, popping up. Um, over on the west coast, okay? And, and they huge too. You know, they ain't the size of the ones in Jurassic Park with the predictive programming, but they still big and they got like a hard shell on them. Now, I, I, me personally, I never seen, they call Mormon crickets. I've never seen crickets with hard shells on them, okay? I've seen, I, they always just, you just step on them and they die, but these look like they got hard shells on them, okay? You see that? Everything is being broken down in the midst of this. You got women out here protesting, okay? Talking about they they not gonna uh, give men any more mommy and daddy time, and it's just hey, it's just a bunch of confusion 
and and and, and this is why this place gotta go okay the most high is not the author of confusion okay it's it's, it's just too much to at every turn there's something crazy going on you know it's just getting more and more stranger okay and as you can see you've seen in that clip even in them red states okay things are bugging out okay a lot of red states those are like white live states you might as well just put it like that or republican state okay at least they not hiding no more they coming out of the closet showing you that they the devil okay because you think this is about um abortion and it's not okay hey like they say they may come at the interracial marriages next okay they may come after the, the alphabet people you know which ultimately they is they gonna come at the a body the same way they doing in china right now okay they're gonna set up this, di this digital slavery whether or not people want it okay and you're gonna see a lot of fighting as this is going on okay so now you're having a fallout at the supreme court okay and everybody's angry and people angry at uh clarence thomas and calling him uncle tom and it's just hey the the, the most high is increasing these people madness and it's being shown on a, a high scale okay so yeah let's get into this right quick exodus 1 verse 16 this is when um pharaoh was telling them to uh, kill the little hebrew boys okay now let's get into it and he said when you do the office of a midwife to the hebrew women and see them upon the stools if it be a son then ye shall kill him see but if it be a daughter then she shall live because the man carry the seed family jewels that's where you get all them sayings from okay it doesn't matter what they look like they don't have to look like richard roundtree they ain't gotta look like um you know just your, your, your typical your typical you know onyx stone jig right but the midwives fed yahweh and see this is how you know that during the ancient time, they knew about the Lord. See, nowadays, these these Christians with that sign of Jesus running around, and um, they, they paint all these naked um, angels, they don't know about the Lord. They don't even believe in the Lord, okay? They believe in Jesus, okay? But the midwives fed Yahweh. And did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men, children alive. Now you see that they didn't even obey the Pharaoh. They said, the hell with him. We listened to the Most High. And hey, it say that these was Egyptians. I'm quite sure that some of them them probably was our Hebrews. You know, because we did live amongst them. But hey, even their nations feared the Most High. Okay? Even uh, King Nebuchadnezzar and all these ancient kings. They knew about the Most High, even though they weren't uh, Israelites. Nowadays, these people don't know anything. These people are bugged out of their damn mind. And this is why the Most High is going to kill up the planet the way he, he did. Okay? It's coming again. Okay? Let's keep going. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have you done this thing and have saved the men children alive? And the word midwives said on a furrow because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women. For they are lively and are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Okay? You see, so they, they actually, like the way a lot of Eve's are lively today. Okay? We the salt of the earth, right? So yeah, we, we bring flavor. You know, people just, people, even though they hate us, they want to be us. And some of them just love us. Okay, and actually, most I'd be protecting us anyway. Now, I heard a report. I heard a report. I don't know how true it is. They said it was of the 90 million African Americans or, or people of color have had abortions since abortions have uh, been in our effect. That's a lot of babies that then died. Me, myself, I didn't have like eight abortions. Okay, and I got judged for it. The last, my last child. When I wanted to really have a child, the, the most high took him back home. You see? Everybody get judged. Even, even us that love the most high, right? But I was going off, so I got judged for it. Okay? 
So yeah, they're saying it is a huge uh, Supreme Court fallout. And hey, you never know these people the way they protest. They might, hey, I don't condone violence, but you see how they out here act. You may see women um, just out here going at the Supreme Court justices. Remember, they trying to pass a law ways ago. They want the Supreme Court and these court justice members to get more security. You see? So you never know. Let's keep going. Yeah, and you know they're going to go at the um, Supreme Court Justice uh, Clarence Thomas and his, his wife because, you know, she's straight MAGA. Okay, so these, these abortionists, these these um, crazy-ass women out here, don't be surprised if you hear about them running around naked in front of Supreme Court Justice members. I'm telling you, it's gonna get, it's, you see how crazy it's getting out here, right? Like I said, the, the Most High is bringing this place down piece by piece. Okay, now I'm going to show you why I bought this up. Okay, see? The Constitution. You see that? And this is all. I'm sitting here talking about the Supreme Court, you see? Yeah, and see, this this ain't really about abortion rights. It's about them trying to do stuff to your body. And they're allowed to do it. Now, remember, I just did a report with China on digital slavery. I'm going to show you why I bought this up. This is about abortion. But it also is about a lot of other things. Let me show you. This is a pregnancy tracker. Okay, I didn't even know this exists. This is some type of digital pregnancy tracker thing. Where is though? They're tracking your hormones and stuff. Now remember, they just need to put it on you. You see that? So you know what this is all leading to. <clears throat> this is leading to them being able to put that thing in you, right? But that that digital that digital all in you, okay. And it's different kinds, okay. It's different kinds. I didn't know that, okay. So if if you allowing them to track you, and and track your inner functions of your body, and it ain't even in you yet. Wait till they put it in you, okay. So yeah, I seen this. And I said, wow, I didn't even know that exists, right? It's a digital tracker for pregnancy. Okay? So, yeah. They're going to aid. I wouldn't be surprised if they start making these mandatory. Okay? So, yeah, let's keep going. Here's another one that the difference between this one. This one right here, it tracks, it uses cervical fluid. Okay? So, yeah, see? They want to track everything now. And... You got to pay them monthly. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they start putting these garages, this digital all in people, and charge you monthly, or whoever take it monthly, for you allowing them to digitally enslave you. Okay? This is how these people get down. Okay? Mm-hmm. You, you you see the A. Hey, this Esau Edom believe the world is his. Right? So, yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. This is what this is really about. Okay, these people being allowed to do things to you, especially you women, that you don't want done. Okay? So, yeah, there you have it. Okay, stay away from that garage. I'm going to get one more scripture and shut it down. But, hey, this is what it's really about. Okay? Them putting these tracking devices in you eventually. And you ain't going to be able to get them out. Isaiah 32, verse 6, For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity, to practice hypocrisy, and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. See, it's, it's, it's a hypocrisy for them to only talk that they really want white people. Okay? We knew what that was about anyway, because this is Esau Edom. Okay? And like I say, to utter error against the Most High. Okay? They in error out there protesting. Talking about they want to um, kill their kids. Okay? That's an error. Okay? Yeah, empty the soul of the hungry. Right? Let's keep going. The instruments of the churl are evil. He devised wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speak of right. See, we tell them don't do this. Okay, we tell them it's, it's, it's unlawful, according to the scriptures, to destroy your uh, infant, right? 
Like I said, I was judged personally because of it, okay? But an angel came to me and comforted me, right? Actually, I'm going to do a story on that, right? So, yeah, that was one of the things that led me to the truth was when an uh, angel uh, paid me a visit, right? So, yeah, I'm mad if I'm going to do a story on that, right? So, yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. Stay prayed up. Keep your eye on what's going on with the Supreme Court and, uh, and, and all these uh, women out here protesting. Things, hey, you may start saying some, some wild things with these women, right? As you're saying now, right? So, yeah, hopefully you're satisfied. I'll see you again real soon. Shalom.